was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger, man. Now, first things first, before we go ahead and get started, I just want to go ahead and say thank you, God, for another day and another opportunity. But as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to create the best and first ever slashing point forward build. Now, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be on part with the family. And don't forget to smash that like button. I would highly appreciate that. Now, out of this slashing point forward build, we're going to be able to get all of the contact dunks, some of the best dribble moves, and this is honestly one of the best all-around small forward builds. So however you decide to go about it, just make sure that if you want to make any adjustments, you do it after we create the build name together. So to get started, I'm going to put it under the small forward position. Now, I'm going to go with the lefty because that's what I am in real life. Now, for the height on this build, this is optional. I know we can make point forwards out of 6'7", even 6'6", six, six, and up to 6'10". I'm going to go with 6'8", when it comes down to my weight 215 with a 7'2 wingspan. Now, for the body shape, this really comes down to preference. Really reminds me of an Andrew Wiggins build, so I'm going to go with Defined. Now, from here, as we get into the breakdown of the actual attributes, be sure that you start with the physicals so you can get an idea of what this build is going to be actually looking like when we are forced to upgrade certain areas. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and start upgrading my physicals. So, I'm going to max out my speed, the acceleration, and I'm going to go with an 84 strength. Now, also, when it comes down to the badges that we're going to be able to unlock, I did make sure that I was going back and forth with making sure that I had the right requirements. Now, for my vertical, make sure you go with an 82 because we're going to bring up that driving dunk in order to get the elite contact dunks. And then for my stamina, I necessarily do not think we need a 99. I'm going to go with the 90 and we're going to be all set to go from here. Now, for the driving dunk, I'm going to go with the 92 like I said earlier. And right there, that's going to give us all of the elite contact dunks since we did get the threshold of our vertical. Now, right here, we get 15 badges and honestly, three Hall of Fame badges and we get a good amount of silver and gold for the finishing itself. Let's go ahead and move on to the shooting now. So, you can pretty much make this build to anywhere where you get at least a 79 three-pointer and a mid-range. I'm going to leave it at that threshold because I believe if we go into the 80s, the build name will change. So, I'm going to go with the 78 for my mid-range. You can go anywhere from 78 to 79 for the three-pointer. And for the free throw, I'm going to go with the 71. And right here, we get a good amount of badges out of that tier one category when it comes down to the shooting. Now, for the playmaking, this is optional. But the one thing that you have to maintain is going to be that 80 and above pass accuracy. If you go anything below an 80, you're going to get a completely different build name. Now, from there, I'm also going to go ahead and max up my ball handle and go with the 77 speed with ball. That's going to bring us up to a total of 22 playmaking badges. Now, let's go ahead and check them out real quick. As you can see, we are going to be able to get quick first step on Hall of Fame. A few gold badges, which honestly spreads the wealth perfectly. Now, all we got to remain with is going to be the defensive area. So, depending on how you want to go about this build, I'm telling y'all, just be sure to follow along and I'm going to get everything that you need out of this build when it comes down to the dribbles the shooting the defense and especially with the finishing now as far as what we're looking like on the offensive area i did tell y'all we're going to be able to be one of the best all-around builds in my opinion now for the defensive area we are going to go ahead and max out that block and right here we're able to get a total of 16 defensive badges now as for the badges that we get you can actually make adjustments to get more you can go anywhere from 15 to 17 that's going to be perfect but as far as for the physicals this is going to be the main thing that i would maintain at least overall now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the badges again we get everything that we need when it comes down to our defensive area especially with hall of fame chase down artists one of the best badges to go ahead and throw on now for the finishing like i said we are going to be able to maintain a good amount of badges but we're also able to get silver bully when we upgrade our strength now from here the only thing that we need to check out is going to be the takeovers but remember adding boosts on this build is really going to consider a completely different way of play style especially with how we're going to be able to shoot and play defense now as you can see we get the slash and takeover the shot creating the sharp shooting and the playmaking now for my own preference i would first consider going with finishing moves for my first takeover the second one ankle breaking shots or limitless range both of these are going to be very solid i wouldn't consider the playmaking but i'm telling you overall these are going to be two of the best takeovers to work around on this build now let's go ahead and check out which build we actually created paul george michael bridges and jason tatum for the comparisons and as y'all can see we have created the first ever slashing point forward build and this is only the start because once you add boost on this build 
get it to 99 overall a completely different way that we're going to be able to look at it so really quick let's just go ahead and take a look at what this build will be looking like maxed out with boost being applied to it so right here consider buying boost that's going to be a plus four added on now in takeover since we did pick the slashing and the sharpshooting we're going to be able to get a plus 10 when these are activated so essentially in takeover you'll have a 99 driving dunk with a 90 driving layup as well as an 83 close shot now that's without buying boost but for the shooting mid-range shot will go up to an 88 your three-pointer will go to an 89 and that free throw is going to be brought up all the way to an 81 now if you did go with the playmaking we do have the potential to get a 99 ball handle as well as bring the speed with ball into the 90s now remember this is all with takeover activated so that's just the number one thing you need to take into consideration now for the block this is going to be pretty solid especially once you buy blocking boost from here let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of the actual badges now just keep in mind everything that i'm putting on is really to my own liking so for the finishing badges i'm going to go with first back down punisher on silver from there i also do like to run fearless finisher just because of the layup animations that we get now i'm also going to go ahead and put on masher i'm going to go ahead and throw that on silver from here we're going to be able to unlock the tier 3 badges for the finishing so honestly you can really consider what this build would be looking like with extra boost applied because i know we get a plus four when it comes down to becoming a starter in my career so if you want to be able to really just think about it you'll be able to still unlock tier three and add one of these badges to a core badge now for my liking i did switch it up to go with hall of fame pro touch right here that's going to allow us to get at least bronze for one of the tier three badges that we did unlock now if you want to you can go ahead and add on the boost and look if you add on only two extra boosts towards this build, you'll be able to get one of the gold badges for tier 3 and you could even throw it on a core badge once you complete the challenge for it. Now I'm going to go with Bully for now but again I'm just trying to give y'all an idea of what this build is actually going to be looking like when you grind it out yourself. Now for example on my face up 4, I have to unlock 6 finishing badges in order to get the actual badge setup that i want now that is just from my build again you can say if you wanted to add it to the shooting and get extra badges you may need to add extra shooting badges to get the exact setup that you want but as far as what i'm going to put on right now mini magician on gold is going to be very overpowered now from there i'm also going to go with guard up these two badges alone are pretty much going to be some of the best badges to start with in the game now from there i'm also going to go with space creator on gold now we have unlocked the tier 3 badges which means you can go about this to your own liking or you can go ahead and add them on as a core badge now for my liking i'm going to go with blinders on silver now limitless range will be the bronze badge that i would consider throwing on but i really gotta go ahead and say as long as you like the setup that you're running with i promise you everything will work out in your favor but if you want to go ahead and copy down what i'm showing y'all that's going to be a great way to go about it as well now for the playmaking this really comes down to your preference of badges but i'm going to go with first gold hyperdrive now that's going to be a huge game changer when it comes down to to dribbling from there i'm also going to consider vice grip as well as hall of fame quick first step now that right there is going to allow us to get the tier 3 badges unlocked and we actually have a good amount of badges to work with in this area so honestly you have to go ahead and first put on silver handles for days if you're going to go with the tier 3 badge and if you have extra left over this is where you're going to be able to spread the wealth just a little bit more especially with adding on a core badge so what i did was change up vice grip to go with special delivery on bronze and now this right here is going to allow us to get one more tier 3 badge of our own choosing so if you want to you can change up what badges i actually started with then go ahead and put on another core badge and right here we actually end up with two gold tier 3 badges but you can honestly end it with one gold one silver and one bronze now if i'm being real with y'all that is probably one of the best things about the tier 3 badges for the playmaking is that we're able to spread the wealth perfectly and still able to get the tier 3 badges that we actually want to put on now from here it really comes down to how you want to look at the defensive area for me i would have to say at least go with gold menace and hall of fame chase down artists pogo stick necessarily isn't needed but again if you want to throw it on that really comes down to your own preference and liking now for tier 3 i'm going to go with silver anchor as well as bronze clamps now if you want to go ahead and leave this setup as is this is going to be a great way to go about the build making now as for the jump shot that i was using in the beginning gameplay opening this video it was going to be danny green for those of y'all who are wondering but honestly we get a good amount of jump shots out of this build as well now on a scale of 1 to 10 i gotta go ahead and rate this build a 10 because we have everything that we need out of the offense and defensive area all of the contact dunks and then we get that point forward build name with slashing inside of it so again man thank y'all to those of you who made it to the very end go ahead and comment down tg for thank god just so i know who the real ones are 
But man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And y'all better go ahead and smash that like button. I would highly appreciate it. And that definitely helps me out. But again, thank you God for this opportunity and another day. And with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.